class, today we are on Saxon Book 3, Lesson 65, and today we are going to talk about angles. So let's kind of start with the anatomy of an angle. What are the parts to an angle? This right here, this space in between the two sides, that is your angle. So we call both of these straight lines sides, and then the point where they meet is called a vertex. And this is an angle. We see angles on all different kinds of shapes. And today you need to learn a little bit about the different types of angles. So it has been a while since I've had you guys get out your math dictionary, but you are going to need that today so that you can write down the four different types of angles we're going to talk about today. So even though it's in the middle here, this is the first one I'm going to talk about. A right angle is what you guys have typically called a square corner. So we see a shape. Let me grab a different color. Let's say we have a rectangle here. And I would say, how many square corners are in this rectangle? Well, you'd count them and say, oh, there's four. Yes, they are square corners. But from this point forward, we're going to call them right angles because that is the mathematical term that adults and higher up mathematicians use to describe these angles. So they're called right angles. They have a measurement of 90 degrees, exactly 90 degrees, no less, no more. So an 89 degree angle is not a right angle and a 91 degree angle is not a right angle. It's exactly 90 degrees. So we measure angles by something called degrees and a degree tells us how far open the angle is. So let's pretend my hands are the two sides of the angle and I'm gonna connect them at the vertex here at my wrists. This, if it's closed, this is a zero degree angle. There is no space in between my two hands. If I open it just a teeny tiny little bit, that might be one degree. If I create a square angle, perpendicular lines, that is a 90 degree angle, and we call it a right angle. And now I might have to move a little, I don't know. Can I make it flat? If I open it the whole way so that it's straight, I have a picture over here, a straight angle. That is 180 degrees. And it's just a measure of how far open is my angle. Um, I'm going to show you a tool in a later lesson. Actually, it might be in fourth grade, where we use something to measure the exact degrees of angles. But for today, what you need to know is a right angle is 90 degrees. And then we have acute angles. Here's the word, acute. And for me to remember that, I like to break it up into acute because acute angles are angles that are smaller than 90 degrees. So when I see a small little angle, I'll go, oh, what a cute little angle. It's so acute. This would be an example of an acute angle. Anything less than that square corner right angle. Acute little angle. And then we have obtuse angles. When we say ob, our mouth opens really big and wide to say that ah uh, sound. Obtuse angles are big, fat angles. They're anything bigger than 90 degrees. So here's an example of an obtuse angle. See how big that angle is? That's obtuse here. We have acute. And here we have a right angle. We mark the right angle by drawing the box in the corner, whereas these, we don't have a box. We just make a little line to show that that's the angle we're talking about. So what you're going to need to be able to do today is look at an angle and name it. Is it an acute little angle? 
Is it a right angle? Is it an obtuse angle? Or is it a straight angle? So in order to practice that, I'm going to show you a couple pictures. And I want you to yell out the name. Yell at your TV. Make your mom say, what kind of math are you doing today? So let's start with an easy one that you have seen before. Right. If you called it a square angle, start getting it in your head that that's called a right angle, and that's what we want to name it. Right angle. What about this one? Oh, it's such a cute little angle. This is an acute angle. What about this one? I draw the vertex there to show you that this is meant to be an angle. And I think my head's covering it up on the board. But this is a straight angle. Go straight across, doesn't even look like an angle at all, it just looks like a line. Okay, what about this one? It's so big, it's an obtuse angle, obtuse. Let's try a tricky one. What about that? I hope you said obtuse. It's close to a square angle, but here's one way we can check. We could draw a perpendicular line and say, oh no, this, this angle is bigger than the perpendicular line. Or if you have a piece of paper hanging around, like here I have a sticky note, our papers have right angles on them. You could put the corner of a paper up on your angle and then you can see oh that's bigger than 90 degrees that's an obtuse angle okay let me try one more sometimes you'll see something like this and you're like ah so if the orientation if the way it sits on the page kind of freaks you out and you're like ah, i don't know what that is just Turn the page. Man, that looks a lot like a right angle. Let's see if it really is. I can take my sticky note, put it there. Oh yeah, the angle lines right up with the corner of my sticky note. That's a right angle. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there are a few more pictures of angles that you are going to need to identify on page 352 of your textbook in the lesson practice. Before you meet with me for class today, I would like for you to do your lesson practice and be prepared to share the answers when I see you later this afternoon. I hope you had a great day and don't forget to do your written practice, which also begins on page 353. Bye-bye.